Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Thank you so much for supporting me right here at my very own project. Thank you. We're going to break down Leonard Skinnerd. Give me three steps. I hope you dig it. Lots of cool blues techniques in here. So let's dig in. All right. So we're going to uh, start with a D power chord, but in the open position. And I, I think the, the right way to play this for you guys would be middle finger, this one, on the third fret of the B string and index finger on the second fret of the G string. Then we have the open D with it. So we're focused on D, G, and B. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go bump, bump. So two stabs on that chord. Then the open ring finger is going to go to the fourth fret of the D string. So, so you're going to hit that once, and if you get the the whole chord in there is fine, or the note by itself is going to work. So you hit that once, and then you let it off, and you do two stabs again. So. Then we're going to do a quick one again. So the next move gets our index finger barring the D and G. And we're going to just pluck that D string on the second fret, then the fourth fret. And then you slide it back right into that chord again, like this. So when you put that together, one more time, really slow. So then, we do that same move, 2-4 on the D, but then we hit the open A string, so it would look like this. So when we move over to this A power chord, it's the exact same moves, but the B string's tuned differently, so we don't have to do that. We can just cover the second fret D and G with our index finger and the open A string. Then we go to the fourth of the A. And then that same move, we're going to go 2-4, but on the A string now, slide it back to the open A chord. Then we do it again, and then it's the open D, because we're going back to the D boogie. So the moves are the same. Let's let's go over it nice and slow again. Now the new thing. And then again, open A string. to that open A, because we're going to do an A power chord and go. It's just A, A, A. And then the alternate bass note of an A chord is the low E, so. D 
power chord. Dun, dun. And then if you want, you know, there's three guitars going on, but you can go zero, two on the A string into the D power chord again. So it'd be like. So when you put it all together from the top, it looks like this. What you got. So that gives you that intro. There's going to be a few other licks. I can't teach you every single lick in this song because the it would be too long of a video. But I'm going to have some techniques. Uh, Friday technique lessons that are going to cover some of this, that kind of thing. All right, so now let's go through the progression, but the power chords are still going to be there, but then we can just do this kind of thing where we're... And there's variations, right? Um, you can do this kind of thing that slides from three to four. Then the A power chord, just move up. And so that's something you're going to see all the time with the A power chord is the... Which would be three, four on the A string, holding that A power chord. And I'm adding this, the uh, fourth fret of the D with the A power chord. So any variations on that, you know, it's the classic blues boogie variation. So let's go back to the D power chord. This is the, uh, the vocals. Back to D. So what happens there, and that's super fun to play, it's a, it's basically like a bass line off of an E chord. So it's like a quick, instead of playing an E chord, it's just a line. So it's three, four on the low E, but open E first. Open E, three, four, uh, and then two on the A, then four on the A, then two on the D, and then we're just going to do a little tug down on the third fret of the A string. So. So sometimes it does that, and it does, but then other times it goes just nothing, right? So let me show you that other lick, because it just comes right from that, just all from that, that technique of blues rhythm. So... So I'm just going three, four on the A, holding that A power chord, but then going three, four. And then I just a little tug down on that third of the A. All right, so let's go back from the beginning of where the vocals will come in. Then 
Then back to D. But now here's a cool little blues, kind of alternate way to play a blues. It goes to the G, and you can just play a G power chord. And so I'm just going three, 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 two, one, sliding it back to an E. And then you have all the accoutrement with the E again. But then it goes back to the D. And now... Just like before. So let's take it from the top. not bad and then that's all I mean that's the <laughs> that's that's where the whole progression is kind of coming from but then you have when they say uh, you know give me three steps give me three steps it just doesn't do the uh, you know the G thing you know it's more like the intro <laughs> for watching you guys every monday and wednesday is another song lesson so hope to see you there uh leave your requests in the comments below and go to martymusic.com sign the newsletter i really appreciate that extra support thank you so much and we'll see you again real soon uh -huh.